Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a tie the Air Force way. I have the tie that we wear in the Air Force. I'm going to show you, so there's a fat end and then there's a skinny end. I personally like to put the fat end on my left side, but if, that's, if you're left-handed and you want to put it on the other side, that's fine too. Just know this video is geared more towards fat end on the left side. So the first thing we're going to do is arrange the height and this is going to tell our tie where it's going to end up landing on our belt. So in the Air Force, we need the tip of the tie to land right in, you want it to land right in the center of your belt buckle. Currently, as of today, the AFI says that it just needs to not fall below. It needs to fall somewhere in the belt buckle, but in general, you want to make it land right in the middle. So I find that the tip of the tie being right at the bottom of your, like, bottom of their ribs is the best way to start. So we'll start by taking the fat side and taking it over the skinny side. So I just made an X. And then you're gonna go around behind. Excuse my hands here. So what we've done is we've taken the fat side over and then around behind, and now it's sticking right here. And you're gonna make sure at all times this knot is as flat as possible. So now we have it behind. We're gonna keep it and fold it down through the center. And again, fix this so it's flat, otherwise your tie won't look good in the end. So now it's gone around, underneath, and then down through, and then you're going to take it across the front. And now this part is what's going to be showing on the, the knot of your tie. So we're going to keep it covering everything we can. Might as well move this back knot down a little bit while we're at it. And then you're going to go up underneath one more time. No specs on your uniform. <clears throat> now we've made, if you look underneath, there's this flat part right here. That is what we're gonna be taking this fat part through. So we're gonna stick it down through that piece. We've just made the knot. Now there's still some work to do. We take the skinny side. You're gonna pull it a little bit. When you pull the skinny side, it tightens it around your neck. We're gonna pull that a little bit, and then we're gonna pull the fat side. And when you do that, it tightens your knot. So you want the knot to be as perfectly straight on top as possible. It needs to cover all the other bits of the knot. You want this front piece to cover all the bits of the knot. You can't have anything hanging down at the bottom or anything like that. So we just tighten it just enough. If you tighten it too much, you should be able to loosen it. Then we're going to take this bottom piece and you're going to slide it through this belt holder right here. Tighten it again, make sure it's perfect, and then we're going to snug it right up to our neck. Get snug, as snug as possible. You want to make sure it's evenly distributed around the bottom of the knot. This is where all the work comes in. The rest of this, you can't see because we're going to flip our collar, so don't worry if that's not completely flat. The important part is the flatness. As you're putting it together and then you're going to fold your collar down as far as possible. You want this seam to go all the way around right on top. And then we straighten our, our knot where it's in the middle and that is how you tie an Air Force tie. I'll do it one more time, a little bit slower. So to loosen it, one side will be easy to loosen. And it's this one, it connects to the, the thin piece of the tie. So pull it out, take it off, you're going to be left with this knot that will either unravel itself or you can untie it yourself. Okay, so starting again, we're putting the crease towards us. I put fat side on the left side, take the skinny side all the way up until it's at the bottom of your rib cage. Take the fat end over the skinny end and then around the back. I'm holding the knot as I do it so it doesn't unravel. And you're making sure this is all flat again. And then it goes over and through the hole. And 
and then around. And then up through the top. And then down through the hole that we just made by going around. You gotta make sure it's flat. We're gonna slowly bring it up to our neck. Then we tighten it. Bring it up to our neck again. Now we're gonna make it perfect. I'm gonna hide the thin one. Hide the thin side. Make sure this top is flat all the way across. You don't want it to be leaning up at an angle. Either way, you want this top piece to be perfectly flat across the top. We're gonna tighten it a little bit more. Again, if you pull the fat side, it tightens the knot. If you pull the skinny side, it tightens it to your neck. And then, flip our color. And do some final adjustments. And that is how you tie an Air Force tie.